How to make 2D sprite animation in Godot. First, we need to go into our player scene and delete our sprite 2D. Now we need to replace our sprite 2D with an animated sprite 2D. Now we need to go into the inspector and click the animation panel and create a new sprite frames. Click it again to go into the animations panel. I'm going to rename our current animation to idle for our default animation. We need to click the sprite sheet button to go into our sprite sheet. Select the sprite sheet and I'm going to set my sprite sheet size to 50 by 37 because that's the size of my sprite sheet. Now we need to select our idle frames of our sprite sheet. Once those are selected, click add frames. Now we need to do this three more times for jumping, falling, and walking. Once that's done, you'll notice our character is a bit blurry. We can go into the texture panel and change our texture filtering to nearest. Now we need to go into our movement script to make sure the character animation trigger at the proper times. First, let's create an animated sprite 2D variable called charanim. Now we can use charanim equals get node animated sprite 2D and animated sprite 2D again. Now we need to play our animation. So if we scroll down here, now where we set our velocity, we need to do a couple of if statements. If velocity.y is greater than zero, we need to play do charanim.play falling. Now we need to do else if velocity.y is less than zero, we need to do charanim.play jumping. Now that that's done, we need to make sure that we are moving in the right direction. Below our direction variable here, we'll need to do a couple of if statements. If direction.x is greater than zero and is on floor, we'll need to set our scale to new vector 2 and 4 and 4. Now we need to set our rotation degrees to zero. Now we need to do another one else if direction.x is less than zero and is on floor. Scale equals new vector 2, 4 and negative 4, and rotation degrees will be 180. This will flip our character depending on which direction we're currently pressing. We need to actually play walking idle animations. Down here in direction does not equal vector 2.0. We need to do if is on floor charanim.play walking. This will play our walking animation when we move. Now down in the else statement we need to do another if statement if is on floor charanim.play idle. Now we can save our script and go back into Godot and save our scene and run the game, you can see we all have beautiful 2D animations now. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe.